NFL Week 17. And these are my Super Contest picks for the week. I like the Texans to cover 13 against the 49ers. I know that we just had the issue with Jimmy G's hand, etc. And the Texans have been playing really, really well. If you look at their year-long stats, this line makes sense. If you look at what they've done most recently, uh, the Texans have been playing significantly better. And in the 49ers, while playing better, they are now dealing with some injury issues. Uh, we'll see what that means going forward. So I, I do like the Texans to cover 13. I don't know that they can win on the road at the 49ers, but I do like them to cover. Uh, the Eagles covering three against the Washington football team. Washington can go one of two ways here. They got smashed on Sunday Night Football by the Cowboys last week, 56-14. to 14. It was never in doubt. I think it was 42-7 to seven at the half. Uh, they can bounce back and be fired up and mad, etc. Or this could just be what Washington is right now, uh, dealing with a lot of things internally and uh, injury-wise. And the Eagles have found some things with Jalen Hurts. I mean, they have got weapons, it seems, all over the field. Uh, they've actually got guys healthy right now. I like the Eagles to cover the three on the road at Washington. The Dolphins. I will take the Dolphins plus three and a half against the Titans. Uh, it just seems like too many points. You know, it would not surprise me if either one of these teams won this game, but it would surprise me if either one won it by more than a field goal. The Dolphins have won and covered, I believe, in seven straight. Uh, no, no, no. There was one that they, they're six and one against the spread in their last seven. But they have won seven straight games, and now they go on the road against the Titans, who have not looked great as of late. So, you know, I, I don't feel good about the Titans. Would it surprise me if they won this game? No. Would it surprise me if they won by more than about a field goal? Yeah, that would surprise me. So the, the hook here is what I really like, but I think the Dolphins can win in Nashville. On the other side, this is a line that looked really weird to me, and it's the Cardinals at the Dallas Cowboys. I like the Cowboys to cover the five and a half here. Yes, it was skewed a little bit by the Washington football team last week, and, and the Cowboys just absolutely ran all over them and, and did whatever they wanted to in that game, but... The, the Cowboys should not be favored by five and a half over the Cardinals. And it makes me think there's something going on with the Cardinals that I don't know yet. And I know that that's a weird reason to bet. But, but I like the Cowboys to cover you know less than a touchdown here. I think they're going to win this game at home. This has all kind of playoff implications all over it. So I will take the Cowboys minus five and a half here. And finally, my last bet for the Super Contest for my NFL best bets for Week 17, the Rams minus 3.5 at the Ravens. Again, another line that looks a little bit crazy, but if you look at the numbers, my line on this was actually the Rams minus 5. I got a point and a half worth of value here. I think this line is actually going to get a little bit smaller as we get closer but uh, but Lamar Jackson's still dealing with some injuries and stuff. Uh, the Ravens just got smashed by the Bengals again. I just don't think this Ravens team is very good. Now, of course, the Rams going on the road for a noon game, etc. Like, we get it, West Coast to East Coast, all that kind of stuff. It's already baked into the number. But I still think the Rams should be able to win this game and cover. Uh, even something as small as 21-17 to 17 gets me a, a cover here. So I do like the Rams, minus 3.5. So let's, uh, I'll give you a quick recap again. Texans plus 13, Eagles minus 3, Dolphins plus 3.5, Cowboys minus 5.5, and, and Rams minus 3.5. So I've got uh, three favorites, two underdogs, not too shabby. All right, that is going to wrap things up for today. I can't tell you enough how much I've appreciated you this year. Chris has as well. The site has grown. The YouTube channel has grown. The podcast, everything. Everything that we do has grown significantly this year. It is thanks to you guys that are actually, you know, paying attention. We we thank you for giving us a platform to actually talk about this stuff that uh, that we enjoy. This is a lot of fun for us. So do us a favor again. Go to winningcureseverything.com. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video if you're watching on YouTube or Twitch or Twitter, whatever, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe and jump in the comments. We would love to hear from you, most certainly. You can always reach out to us on Twitter. Uh, of course, if you listen to the end of the show, you know exactly how to do that, etc. Or if you're watching on the screen. You can do that as well. But uh, but go to winningcureseverything.com. Head over and support our sponsor, BetUS. They are where the game begins. BetUS.com is the website. Awesome, awesome bonuses and whatnot right now. So go ahead and get signed up. And do me a favor and check me out on the BetUS College Football Show. There's a link in the description for that. You can also download the podcast as well. Leave a nice five-star review for the BetUS Football Show 
on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or whatever. But yes, that's the way that you can find more about us and you can reach out to us, etc. We love hearing from you guys. We hope that you all have safe and happy New Year's and we are looking forward to a fun, exciting 2022 with all of you. So, uh, be careful, you know, don't drink and drive, all that kind of stuff. If you're like me, you're getting a little bit older, you're going to sit at home with the wife and the toddler, maybe invite some friends over for uh, for some games and and watch football. That's about it. I'm going to be watching Georgia and Michigan and maybe playing some card games. <laughs> we might play a little poker. We'll see. But either way, we appreciate you guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully, hopefully, all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.